Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create a composition with fades, bigger fades, smaller fades and you know, different size of fades. Sometimes I let them air dry. Sometimes I use the dryer to make the process a little faster. So I will show you how to do it. The first thing that I will show is what is the process of creating a fade, a very simple one. For that, I will just show it to you on a swatch card. All you need to do is put a drop of ink, okay, any color, just like this, just one drop. Then in the direction of the fade, so if you want your fade like this, push put a lot of alcohol in that area wherever you want the fade to go just touch the ink with the alcohol a bit like this and then you need to either blow on it with your mouth once that I'll do so that the ink goes into that okay just like this now if you want the fade to be even lighter from this side you put some more alcohol at the edges so that the fade is even lighter and then all you need to do is just twirl the paper to mix that and then bring everything down towards the darkest part of your uh, fade like this and then just let it rest once it has dried a little bit you can use your dryer to make the process faster but Otherwise, this is the simple technique of creating a fade on any surface, even if it is a Yupo paper or a Nara paper or synthetic, any other brand of synthetic paper. This is the way you create a fade, a single fade. Now you can use this technique uh, for creating, you know, one by one, you create one fade and then another one next to it and then you can move on with one fade at a time. But I prefer to do it in the way that I will show you just now on the bigger paper so that's I, I don't make one fade at a time sometimes I do but uh, you know everyone has their own preferences you can try like this or you can try my way so what I'm going to do is I'll just leave it uh, you know keep it aside so that it can dry naturally as you can uh, you know you saw in the last um, video that if you use the dryer you will start creating lines and I don't want to create any lines so I have just left it to dry naturally here it is so it is just drying on my table that fade it will dry on its own and some lines will get created something will happen so this is a A4 size paper and I will show you how I make a composition with fades on such a paper uh, so for this I have chosen the same three colors that I chose for the one without the dryer. This time I'm going to use the dryer also a little bit. So uh, same three colors, Calpanza Orange, Havana Brown and Space Black by two by Pinata and one by Nara. Now uh, you can plan some like something diagonal or an S shape and uh, put your alcohol in that line initially just like this. I'm just putting my alcohol in a kind of an S shape. I have no plan as of now how this is going to go but I'm just putting some alcohol like this. Then some drops of orange. We can always add more color later so I'm not worried that um, how much I should put where I should put because we can always do one fade at a time technique also on this. So later on once I'm done with what I am trying to show you and some black here and there and if I want to add gold to this I will do that right now I'm shaking pinata brass bottle really well and put a few drops of gold here and there now do you remember the first technique where we just mix these colors gently with the lens blowing tool so just do that 
no no planning or anything here the only objective is to mix them slightly that's it even if they don't mix it's okay because this is not the final thing that we made we are going to work more on it so it's absolutely okay i just try to push the metallic a bit so that it starts to float and come up so that's it and then i will use my dryer and dry this thing that i created i'm just moving my dryer above on top of this snake kind of thing that i made remember whenever you use gold you will notice that the gold will get stuck to the paper so always use some brush or something to scrub on the gold a little bit so that it starts to move again when you are making the fades my the silicone tip brush is a little dirty so i'll just wipe it once all i need to do is wet a tissue paper and wipe it like this because i will need to scrub the gold and now all i need to do is think of where i want to make a fade so let's say my first fade is over here at this place so all i need to do is put alcohol like i showed you in the previous one touching the ink as well as outside scrubbing this section a little bit so that the gold starts to move and then just twirling the paper to mix this and make the fade feel happy about it till the time i'm happy about it i just keep twirling it and then i just blow on it once and then just let it rest don't use the dryer very fast wait for it to dry to some extent before using the dryer you can always also use a tissue paper to get rid of any excess that you see or give some shape or anything So I'm waiting for it to dry to some extent before I use the dryer. And let me just check on this other fade. While it was drying, it created some lines. I think that was because it was lying so close to my uh, this paper. I think the heat from the dryer went to it. But I <laughs> I hope you understood the point of how to make the fade with that uh, demo. So I'm waiting for it to dry. and if you don't want to wait you can hold the dryer towards the lighter side don't hold it towards the darker side hold it towards the lighter side and a little at a distance so that it doesn't push the ink so much so my dryer is kind of very far from the paper not very close and i'm just providing some heat from the light side towards the darker side so that it dries like that and i am very very far from the paper so this became much lighter than how it was looking when it was still wet but as i said we can keep working till the time we are happy we can overlap the fades we can think of more things so now let's make a smaller one maybe here just change the shape sizes direction you know whatever just experiment with your fades you can always add more ink colors so let's say i want to add more color to this one 
I will add a drop of orange on this side and maybe brown over here and then just blow on it with your mouth one so that they mix like this and then just use gravity to twirl and bring everything down to the dark part and top so that the top is lighter I'm adding some more alcohol here just scrubbing a little bit on the stains that happened the dark ink and the gold one thing that you have to be sure of is to uh, make sure that this fade has dried before you make the next one because if it has not dried it will you know just get mixed both of them will just get mixed and you will not get any you know it will become one it won't look good And once uh, it is like slightly dried, you can hold your dryer towards the outside and just um, make it dry faster. So just like this we keep making more and more and <clears throat> you know decide the composition on the go maybe the next one could be like this over here in this direction I'm not even thinking because I always just keep going like this and in the end I decide where I want to make some more or you know change some of the things that I've done so that mm, it gives a better shape to the overall composition. Add more color wherever you want to so say I want to add some orange here And then I'll just let it rest for a while because I see that if I use the dryer too soon it all um, you know mixes up too much
spoon, maybe. No, this way. I guys, I literally have no plan of what I'm doing. I just, I just do like this. That is my process. I just start and figure out on the move what I'm gonna do. And hopefully we get a good composition today. I, I'm not even sure myself. So can't say anything right now, but let's see. That's the way, you know, you have to experiment with alcohol things because you cannot always plan. And it's also quite fun to play like this. Just do whatever comes to your mind and then just keep making more and more, uh, you know, of the style that you like. Something that is, you know, uh, going with your way of working. So that's how I do it and I like uh, the new colors that form when some colors mix and at some places I apply fresh colors so that I can get that vibrancy and if there is any excess like over here if you want to get rid of it grab a tissue paper and just absorb it like this so that you can get rid of that excess that might climb into the other part of your painting so And gold will automatically create these lines and clump towards the edges when we do this process so we don't have to worry about how the gold will create these lines even if they don't if the gold doesn't settle where you want it to you don't have to worry at all at the end you can just apply a few drops of gold here and there with a brush Just blowing on it some more with my mouth and then um, holding the dryer to make the drying faster. That's the best part about alcohol inks that you can, you know, don't have to worry about composition initially just start making something and you know you will find that something is appearing in front of you something is happening and then just play on those things keep the stuff that you like get rid of the stuff that you don't want and just keep making progress with your piece so maybe this one now I can like completely change the direction as well in this way. Um, add a drop of black here to make it slightly darker and a little bit of orange to make it pop a bit You can use a brush or a tool to give shape to your fades as they move and while they are still wet you can do that give some shapes 
if you need to Just giving a little shape here. best thing that you can do is not worry about what you're making because uh, you know with alcohol inks you can always rework or do uh, overlapping layers one over the other so you don't really have to worry about what is happening if you don't like something just keep making it and keep working more on it till the time you're um, happy with the outcome so just keep going I think I will make something over here and as you can, I, I think you can see that I'm just going with the uh, whatever I feel like doing. I'm not even thinking of the final result. So I think that's the best part. Sorry about that. My phone just rang for a while. Just scrubbing on this uh, gold lines that are not moving. Maybe another pop of orange, fresh orange color here. So do you see that that original S shape that I had made is now completely gone. I don't even see uh, where it is but it just gives you something to work on rather than just starting with a blank paper. Just twirl it, move it. That's all you need to do and blow on it with your mouth every once in a while so that the inks go. Remember when you're making fades, don't bring the dryer very close to the paper, just dry it from a distance. If you bring it close to the paper, you'll start getting lines and we don't want that. So, maybe um, another one starting from here. See, we can always overlap over the stuff that we have already done so we don't have to actually worry so much maybe a dark brown over here I think I'll add some gold
maybe another one over here going like this You really don't have to worry about the direction, sizes, just play around of, you know, overlap one over the other. Don't think so much about destroying something nice that you made and all those thoughts about, you know, oh, if I do this, this one will go away, which is looking so cool. But don't think of all those things. Just play around because the layering is what will create all the, you know, beautiful areas in your painting that you cannot get if you don't layer Also, take your time in making this kind of a composition because um, the technique is quite simple but working on the composition is what would be a difficult task. you think I, I think I should maybe that's actually the difficult part deciding where to stop and when to stop because you know very very difficult to decide that but I think we all will get there with practice The inks are still very wet when I'm using the dryer. That's why I am, uh, you know, kind of creating lines which I don't want to happen. But it's okay just to show you. I think I will stop now because it looks kind of cool to me and I like the layering that happened. We can keep making more and more till the time we are happy and if you feel like you can always add a few drops of gold here and there wherever you think that uh, the gold did not reach. This part is still wet I guess. So that's it with this composition I think it looks good and let me shall I spray on this as well a little bit okay so for from a distance oops 
oops i think my bottle malfunctioned and it sprayed some large drops but i really like them it's okay I hope you like this uh, composition. Uh, when you're making a composition, try to create some areas that have darker, uh, you know, centers and some that are very light at the edges so that you get some contrast happening and some areas could be like very goldeny and you can always also draw something on top of this with your acrylic colors or pens, make some lines or, you know, that's all up to you whatever your creativity makes you do so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much